Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 5. Hot pixels, sucker. The funky debunked junk in the trunk that IMHO kind of stunk. So let's get crunk. Yeah. Hot pixels, baby. With Empire Strikes Back setting the precedent for part 5s, allow me to erase the chalkboard from proper scratch and start fresh. Comet Ison. What is it? It's the comet of the century in the year of the comet. What is a comet? It's a dirty snowball. That's the official definition of science. They're magic angels. That is the unofficial definition of Thor News. Where is it now? It is just past Jupiter. And it's headed for Mars. Why is it special? NASA won't shut up about it. It's a sun grazer. And it could be up to 15 times brighter than the full moon. Comet Ison, the brightest dirty snowball ever. Why is it special? Where'd it come from? We have no fucking idea. Its origin is unknown unknown. We don't know. And that's, to me, probably the coolest thing about Ison. It's like, where did it come from? I don't know. If a car shows up that you didn't have in your driveway, and it's like, where did it come from? I don't know. That makes that car interesting. Well, if it's an unknown celestial body, they found 13 AUs out as a dot. They announced it 6.5 AUs out as the comet of the century. Possibly brightest comet of all time. Hey, wait, what was the question? Okay, here we go. Back on subject target. Celestial mechanic. Heavenly working. Its origin is unknown unknown. I guess it's known that like we know that it had to come from somewhere. We don't want to get into an existential discussion here. This is astronomy. Woo! -hoo. When was it found? First observation, December 28th, 2011. When was it discovered? 10, 21, 2012. What is the difference between found and discovered? That is a good question. How big is it? Its nucleus is estimated to be three to five miles. How big is the coma? Bigger than planets. How fast is it traveling? Over 48,000 miles an hour, and it will reach speeds of up to 450,000 miles an hour as it accelerates and then dives past the sun. Go, speed racer, go. It'll go over Earth, around the sun, and then back over Earth, and then out of the solar system. Asterisk. When does it get awesome? Very late October 2013 through mid-January 2014. So it's a holy day comet. There are a lot of holy days and holidays in the holiday season. In my Texas, that includes Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve Eve, Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Day, and Chinese New Year. And then there's always some weird magic holiday in there like Mitch Hedberg Day. And when did I ask? Dear NASA, could you pretty please point one of your big old fancy billion dollar telescope cameras at Comet Ice? If you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. That was episode one, March 27th, 2013. And what did we get? Proof that NASA has a sense of humor. I asked them to put a camera on it. They put the greatest camera of all time, the Hubble. The greatest camera of all time. Put the Hubble on it and took one photograph and gave it to us. Ha ha. Good joke, very funny. But could we please have like 4,000 photographs strung together at once in colorized, cooked, pixelated ways? Can we get some sweet ass hot pixels, please? Can I get some good hot pixels, baby. All right, it is now time for a Thor News bare bones breakdown of all the new info since last episode. We've gotten zero new official Hubble photographs, two non-NASA photographs, quite a few amateur astronomer photos, plus a 24-paragraph NASA-sponsored debunking of Nibiru, which is weird. Technically, I guess they debunked me too. It's because in that article, they mentioned that people said Ison has companions with it. I went and used the term friend because companion has this comet is too comedy delicious for you, babe. Hey, look at that. Comet Ison has a friend with it. I guess everybody can feel better now. Comet Ison has a friend. Count them. One, two. Hello, Dave. Okay, cool. I mean, that's a fine photograph and all. Why can't I have like 10 of those, 100 of those, 200 of those, 300 of those stacked together? I want to see that baby in action. I want to see her move. I want to see glimpses of her specialness. A photograph of a horse running is not the same as a horse running. Why haven't you given us more than one photograph? Okay, Thor questions go. If it's a normal sized nucleus and makeup of a normal sized comet, why is it so special? Can we, can we work a little more on where it came from? That seems very important. If you don't know where it came from, how can you know what it's made of? Why can't you put a motion picture camera on it? Did you release... The horse had nebula footage for me because you guys are gangsters. But we already knew NASA has a good sense of humor. They've made a funny Gangnam Style parody video. They've made a funny Harlem Shake video. They've named one of their latest satellites Gozer. You know, Gozer from Ghostbusters. Gozer the Gozarian who comes from the evil pyramid and enslaves and destroys 
was sets out to anyway, isn't for Bill Murray and his courageous warriors crossing streams and shit. Okay, so they named their new satellite Gozer. Bad guy. Ghostbusters 1. Which I thought was really weird because it already seemed that Ben Bernanke, the chairman, the head of the Federal Reserve, the most powerful bank in the world, Timothy Geithner, the head secretary of the treasury, already looked like bad guys Vigo and Janosh from Ghostbusters 2. So to have now we got Gozer, Gozarian, and Vigo and Janosh. That's just weird, man. It's a weird time. Anyway, so then, don't cross the streams. Hey, while we're at it, we're talking about space and senses of humor. How come everybody's been giving all the space stuff creepy names lately? Why all the creepy names of spaceships? Like Gozer and Dragon and Zombie. Though I'm okay with Genie, oddly enough. I do think my future girlfriend would look wonderful in an I Dream of Genie costume one day for Halloween or other. Uh, and maybe I'll go as a Dread Pirate Roberts. Okay, talking serious sciencey stuff here. I Dream of Genie. It would double dust Earth with a cloud of particles and debris. Did they tell us how small, medium, and large all that debris would be? No. They just told us the small stuff would be very small. And hey, I know. You know what a video it is? It's a single photograph. A motion. I know how a motion picture is made. You stack several pictures on top of each other. And you just keep stacking and you stack and you flip it. Just like a flippy book. Stick figures moving and jumping over hurdles. Stack on another photograph. And then you just stack those photographs straight into the trillions and quadrillions with as much depth and layer as you can. Magic. And you make movies, man. That's how you make movies, you comet. I gotta do that. That's what I gotta do. Gravity. Velocity. I hope that wasn't Orion's horse. It is. You guys are in trouble. Normally they name comets after the guy or guys who found them sometimes. But I guess Vitaly Nevsky and Artyom... Novich Kudinokok didn't have cool enough names. I think your names are fine. So they've said things like this could be the best comet you'll ever see. They say the comet has never happened before in our solar system and will probably never happen again. Might not even graze the sun, might go straight into it, which is weird. Because if it dives straight into the sun, maybe the sun just kind of reached out into the OR cloud and grabbed it. But it seems like at times when they're explaining it, it comes from nowhere. We don't know what sent it or caused it to come from nowhere come from the unknown the unknown unknown like the sun grabbed it off the top shelf like hey i want this comet i'm gonna go get it and it went and it reached up and it grabbed it so like maybe the sun just snatched it off the shelf like a snack when does it get awesome celestial mechanics heavenly working they told us how small the small stuff would be they did not tell us how big the medium sized and big stuff would be around it i mean how much gravity does this thing have how much stuff is it tracking with it pick up anything else along the way debris and crap meteors if you don't mind and you still got the time are you still here that's mighty fine where is it going well it just passed jupiter it's speeding up towards mars comet ison when does it get awesome Estimated, Orion is a badass. Anyway, part six of the WTF series will be out soon, and I will break down the official debunking, the official 24 paragraph debunking of basically Nibiru. I'll sum it all up for you. You don't have to watch that video. The, the debunking just says, it's not Nibiru. Hey, thanks. Um, But I found the debunking itself, the article fascinating, so much so that I would like to break it down line for line and discuss it. Because it gets into the theories and conspiracies and crazy crap. Now, I think Ison is going to be magic and awesome. And no matter what it is, it's just going to be good things for all people. So stay on board. Part 6 will be out tomorrow. I think this one grew way too big. <clears throat> God bless everybody. I'm having fun. How about you? We're learning and stuff. I know our brain hurts a little. But let's go get some Kool-Aid. All right. Calendars are kind of helpful. And they're kind of stupid. No one man or woman has understood, mastered, and conquered all concepts of light, energy, time, mass, space, gravity, dreams, and the magic power of big, beautiful boobies. So, in that term, calendars are kind of helpful and kind of stupid. I mean, nobody can really explain daylight savings time, can they? I mean, can you explain daylight savings time? It's kind of dumb. <laughs> we don't know where it came from. If you like it and you want it, put a motion picture camera on it. The sky's the limit. Everybody, stay tuned to this ongoing epic saga. Matt, can you get me 60 seconds on air? This is important. Is she naked? Put a bra on her. Nudity. Comet nudity. No one will stand for that.
I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. This comet is too comedy delicious for you, babes. Why not give us a close look? Why can't we be watching this thing like you guys do? Because you got to see NASA. I'm not against you. I love you guys.